Hey everyone, I'm Advija Coastal Magnolia. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you're already a subscriber. What I wanna to do today is revamp these Dollar Tree mugs. These are just plain ceramic mugs. They have little ridges on them. And what I wanna do is a technique that I did a while back on a smooth mug. Don't know if it's gonna work on these, but I'm gonna do a waterfall method with alcohol and alcohol ink, and we're gonna see if it'll work on these. So stay tuned and let's get started. All right, disclaimers first. I'm not a professional at the waterfall method. This is just something I'm trying. All right, that's the disclaimer. So. The methods I have seen show alcohol being poured onto the vessel, cup, mug, whatever it is, and then the alcohol ink being dropped on it into a dish and then you reuse it, whatever. So I'm trying a different way. What I'm doing is I'm making a, a really thin alcohol ink mixture in a um, just a dropper bottle. This is the like the main base solution. What I'm doing in a nutshell is creating my flood solution with the alcohol ink already in it. This method works a lot better for me and I can still add other colors if I want to, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I dilute my metallic alcohol inks one-to-one -one with 91% isopropyl alcohol. So one part alcohol ink to one part alcohol in a dropper bottle. I have cleaned my mugs and now I am going to get started. So my solution that I've made, the, um, you know, the blue is my flood solution. Then the gold mix just gets added on top of the blue and then more blue and then more gold and just layering them together. Make sure to get the handle. And just like a lot of techniques, there's not a right way to do it and there's not a wrong way to do it. Just like there's not a right amount of alcohol ink to use and there's not a wrong amount. It's just up to you. That's looking really good right there. And good luck trying to control the design because even though I tried a little bit to control it, it this, this stuff has got a mind of its own. I have my fan going, which is helping to dry this out a lot. All right, can I, somehow I need to fix this right here. And I, you really just have to go with the flow, so to speak, and that's a play on words. But yeah, you, you're you at the mercy of where your alcohol ink decides to go, and you end up with something cool. Don't forget the handle, y'all. The handle, show the handle some love. And it is hard to know when to stop, but y'all know I have tinkeritis, so I don't know when to stop sometimes, but I do have to make sure that I have color everywhere that I want it, and I wanna make sure my design is 100% where I want it. I do notice that I don't have as much flow as I would um, if I was working with a, a smooth-sided mug, but it's the ridges do impede the flow a little bit, but I don't know. I still think it's really cool and I'm very happy. Godly. All right. And I'm just turning it to make sure it dries really well before I set it down. So let me try very gently. Get it over here. Once the first one's done, I just use the drips and pour that on the second mug. And then I just layer my blues with my golds and Use, ended up using that that um, white solution for kind of like a, a blending bottle, and it just um, it didn't really add any color, didn't it didn't add any color separation, but it did act as a as a neat blending solution, getting some really really good patterns. I do did use it to also break up some clumps of color, especially with the gold, because the gold gold metallic alcohol ink does tend to clump up and become a little bit dominant but um i'm really really happy with it i'm not trying to make a matching set i am trying to 
you know, get as close as I can to having a matching set, but I'm not trying to match it exactly. That'd be impossible. I think a lot and talk to myself when I'm working, and this was no exception. Could I do that on a wine glass, though? So, of course, I had to give it a try. Um, these glasses were already cleaned. I had already cleaned them earlier, and I'm just adding my blue, adding my blending solution, and then adding my gold in layers, just like I did the mug. Color's not as pronounced because the background is clear. It's not white like the mug, but I'm still getting the really cool effects. And it's actually a little bit easier on this smooth side than it was on the mug with the, the ridges, the ridge sides, but still was really, really fun. Okay, I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna leave it, let it dry, and then we'll leave it. After these sat overnight, it is time for resin. And I will say, if you are going to seal these with resin like I'm doing, you really do need to spray with some clear spray. I used Rust-Oleum matte. Otherwise, the resin will cause the alcohol to run. A little bit nervous about these touching. They will just barely fit without touching. So I'm a little bit nervous. But these have been sealed. I have sealed these really well with um, clear Rust-Oleum spray. My cup turner really is on its last legs. One side is um, not working at all. The left side's not working at all. I have ordered a new one, and I should be, I think I should be getting it today. Um, and then these, these arms that I'm using, the right side, they're just a little bit loose and wonky. But... I am making do and I'm making it work. Since one side of my turner is not working, I'm having to put the resin on the glasses by hand, which is fine, I've done it before. I'll just have to babysit them for, um, you know, 15, 20 minutes and just turn them um, upside down and then right side up until everything is set. But you know, the liquidy split fast set resin really does it doesn't take long at all for it to um, to set up enough that I won't have to babysit it. These did cure overnight. I didn't have to babysit them more than, than about 30 minutes and I got no drips. I got no, no funny spots. So overall, I'm very happy with the wine glasses. I will definitely do it again, but the wine glasses were an afterthought. The mugs were the primary project and wait until you see how they turned out holy cow these are so gorgeous i cannot get over how gorgeous these are look at that it's so so easy to do i have got to go find some more of these mugs oh wow Hope you enjoyed this video. Please do like and subscribe and help me grow my channel. Appreciate you very much. Have a great day. Don't mind my bare feet. Happy crafting. Bye.